Miss Bones, read it aloud. Shh. All right, reading number 19. We want to dedicate this to all the nurses, medical people, doctors, all the people that are uh, really working hard now to keep us safe from the coronavirus and helping those that are that do have it and um, doing everything everything they can to keep it contained. We really appreciate you guys, and we're praying for you every day. Um, we are reading the book, The School Nurse from the Black Lagoon, in Ella's room. And we have a new camera guy behind the phone named Greg T. And he, he works out well. Yes, he will. He's doing a great job in learning how to be a videographer. Go Grant. For some reason, and there's a picture right behind Ella's bed. Yes, Ella's magnificent oh. Apollo 11 astronaut picture. Do you remember where you got it? The space in it. And you see these things on the bottom. Uh-huh. So. That's his footprint. That's when he was walking on. Yeah, yeah. That's when, yeah. The flag. All right. We also want to shout out to Nurse Atkinson and Nurse Cindy, um, our nurses on the reservation that take care of us. And every yesterday day. was Miss Cindy's birthday. So happy birthday, happy birthday Miss Cindy. Um, so this book is for you. Birthday. All right. Bring us the phone out, Grant. El Grant. El the school nurse from the Black Lagoon. There's supposed to be a nurse at school. No one's ever seen her. At least no one that's ever come back. They say her office is behind the principals. Her name is Miss Hurst, the nurse, and she's supposed to be a real ghoul. Where does it hurt? All around her office are supposed to be dripping colored pictures and see-through statues of body parts, eyeballs on rubber bands, heads filled with brains, and bodies stuffed with everything else. She's also supposed to have a skeleton hanging in the corner. They say it's a kid who went there with a stomach ache. She cured it. She never leaves her office. She must eat her lunch there. They say she's always ready for an emergency. Once a kid got cut in half using the paper cutter. Go home. Oh, thanks. They say Miss Hurst gave him a band-aid and sent him home. Something's wacko. Another kid got run over by the VCR card and was flattened. He's now the rug in her office. If you don't know what a VCR card is, when I was a little girl, that's what we watched VHS tapes on you know, watched a movie on. But now we have a projector Netflix. and, you know, Netflix and CDs and, well, DVDs that we can watch that on. You don't go there unless you're really sick and she knows if you're faking. She has a thermometer the size of a flagpole. It can read the temperature in your toenails. Keep it under your tongue. She has... She has tongue depressors as big as surfboards, so you should only go there with major afflictions. Say ah. Then there are the tests. She measures your height against a wall chart. If you're too short, she stretches you on the rack until you reach the line. I'm taller! I'm taller! Then you have the eye chart. If you can't see the big eye, F... <laughs> She uses the eye, your eyeballs for a billiard balls. After that, there's the hearing test. Can you hear me? If you don't pass, she puts your ears in her jewelry collection. <laughs> oh my gosh. Next, there's the vaccination. Her needle is so long, she can vaccinate six kids at once. It's sort of like... A, a shish kebab. Ouch! And there's always the ice. If you fall down, she puts you in her freezer. Some kids take all summer to thaw out. There's also the cot. The mattress is filled with bricks and the pillow is filled with rocks. The blanket is made out of sandpaper. On the first day of school, Penny Weber went there for a nap. She hasn't straightened out since. Eric Porter went there with a toothache. Now we call him Gums. Freddie Jones went there with a sore throat. 
Now his head is attached directly to his shoulders. Oh, oh, I'm breaking out in blue dots. They're all over my hand. I must have leprosy. My hand will fall off. I better go to the school nurse. Help! I walk into her office. Freddie Jones is taking a nap. Either that or he's dead. Miss Hurst is sitting at her desk. She looks pretty normal. Hello. I show her my hand. She wets a paper towel and gently rubs. The blue dots disappear. How's that? She asks to see my pen. I take it out of my pocket. She shows me where it's leaking. She smiles and gives me a new one. Cool. She's a miracle worker. I'm cured. She pats me on the head and tells me to visit any time. I go back to class and write her a thank you letter with my new pen. That was a great story. All right, Grant. So our activity is to write a letter or make a video message to a nurse or someone in the medical field and tell them how much they are appreciated. We hope you enjoyed this story. Until next time. Bye. Bye.